just days old. That was his um, oxygen level. Sometimes when he moves around, it goes down a little bit. This tiny body struggles. Sometimes has some shakes and some jitters. <laughs> with addiction. He is experiencing some withdrawal symptoms from the drug that his birth mother was using um, while she's in rehab. You getting hungry? Elizabeth and Brian Watts promised this newborn what his mother could not, life without heroin. She placed him in private adoption. In the 19 years I've been here, I would say I've seen a lot. Weaning newborns from narcotics like heroin, meth, and now prescription painkillers is Jacqueline Jacobitz's specialty at NUSC. They're difficult. They, they cry a lot. Um, and it's not just a cry. It's a, it's, it's a very high-pitched type of cry. Nurse Stephanie Churchill has shouldered her share of drug babies as well. The biggest thing is um, they're hypertonic, just means they're very tight, um, jittery, they cry, they need to be held a lot. You just know that they're hurting. You can just tell by the way they act. All right, buddy. We suffered along with the child. I mean, the child was in a lot of pain, and we did everything we could to try and just make the child happy. Carrie Williams is a foster mom desperate to adopt. So desperate, she took in a meth-addicted baby who needed morphine to wean every three hours. To describe it, it's just constant chaos. Constant chaos for three long months. But Carrie says she was willing to endure it because the Department of Social Services told her no one in the family wanted the child. She would be the first to adopt. This was supposed to be our, our child, so we took pictures like every parent would. But once the baby was weaned, a family member came forward and got custody. If you have wanted a child and you can't have one and you've done this, you just, there's no way to understand it. Nursery, this is Donna, can I help you? Donna Spencer is a nurse, but she's also Carrie's mother. I knew the, the, this baby. I cared for this baby and the baby knew me. She knew what to look for in the newborn it's her job at Roper St. Francis Hospital. We've had people come in who were, had recently used a, a drug and was still under the effects of it. Getting babies clean is her business, but it didn't make letting go any easier. Yes, this was my grandchild. You know, look at our baby. The Watts get to go home with their baby. But the private adoption costs thousands, and they don't know what the future holds. We might be dealing with some developmental delays later. Um, and we're kind of aware of what those circumstances could be. And he's back to sleep. Right now, their new baby is easing out of addiction better than most. His mother was not given methadone in rehab, a drug that's proving to be highly addictive in infants. We're some lucky parents. <laughs> we're, we're, we're just so excited. We can't wait to get him home and spoil him. And <laughs> Let's see those eyes. It's hard to say who's lucky here, as an innocent victim of addiction now appears to be in good hands.